What's up guys, Hong for OG Fitness. Okay, so this is actually the second time I'm running this. I actually started exercising and I forgot to turn off the uh, notification uh, for, for one of the apps. And that stupid app, uh, it's called WhatsApp actually. <laughs> it cuts off, it cuts the video. So I'm gonna repeat uh, what I said. Um, I'm gonna do my workout today. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do uh, some Uchikomi at the end, but at the beginning, Squat and press, so you're gonna need dumbbells or kettlebells, right? Squat and press 20 times. Then from there, we're gonna do uh, bent over, uh, alternating single arm rows, right? And then from there, we're gonna do sumo squats, right? So 20 of each, take a little break, and, we're gonna, and then we're gonna do it again. And we're gonna do that about four times. Once we do that, we're gonna do the uchikomis, right? So I'll show you what the uchikomis are. Um, and then from there, we're gonna do a bit of arms because I like doing my arms. What guy doesn't want to have bigger arms, so to speak, you know? And, uh, you know, we're in quarantine, so... Okay, that has nothing to do with it. I just like doing arms. <laughs> okay, and uh, for those of you guys who... Uh, it's just something I wanted to mention. I went up... Uh, I gained about maybe two pounds, right? So I'm not too happy about that. I'm gonna drop back down. Uh, so me, by me gaining two pounds, I'm probably at like about 10, 11%. So I'm gonna drop those two pounds. I'm gonna go back down to uh, eight, nine percent body fat. That's where I'm comfortable. And that's where I find uh, I'm happy with how, the way I look, right? Not that I look bad now in my opinion, but I just, uh, I, I've been at eight for a little while and uh, I like it, right? So uh, that's that. So let's get going. I'm not gonna put any music because of the copyright issues. Um, I mean, the issue is just really for monetization. But really, I thought about it, and I, I figured, well, you guys could just play your own music and just, you know, see me follow along, right? I think it's better that way. Instead of having my music imposed on you, that's just my thought, but, you know, let's see. All right, let's go. So, let me see. You guys can see me here. Yeah. All right, so grab them like this. Let's go. 20 times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. So from here, watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and one, and two, three, four, and five, and six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 38, 39, 40. Whew. Oh, always have a bottle of water handy. This is mine's drink in between. And hold them here. So sumo, your feet have to be ducked. Okay, back straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. There you go, take a break. Just gonna open the window a bit. So, if you guys have noticed, I do pretty much the same, same exercises most of the time, right? Like I have maybe, I'd say, 10 to 20 exercises that I always alternate in between, right? I mean, I don't, uh, I don't get fancy unless I have to. And I save for the fancy stuff for judo, and that's it. But maybe now I might start incorporating just out of boredom, right? But I tend to do the same thing over and over, and it, it works fine. You don't need to be shocking your muscles all that often, right? Like, uh, I know some people, they suggest that. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying for myself, like you don't want to confuse the muscle all that much because you actually have to be able to measure progress, right? You're always changing your, your, uh, your exercises like every single day, then you don't really know if you progress, right? In terms of strength, endurance and all that. Um, but I mean, that's just my, the way I see it, right? I keep the complicated stuff for judo. That's my fun, that's the stuff that's dynamic and, and all that, so I don't really uh, use the gym, weightlifting and resistance exercise to, to, uh, you know, to get my kicks, right? I get my kicks from judo. This, here I'm really, uh, when I lift weights, it's really to get strong. <sighs> all right. And you know, to get slightly bigger muscles. I'm still a little bit, I'm at 152 right now, but I gained that weight too fast, so I know it's fat. Right, so I want to gain. I saw like 10 pounds to gain, but it has to be muscle, right? So you can't gain that in a year, man. Not that easily. It's not what you guys think. I'll make a video at one point. You'll see. All right. So again. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Take a second to breathe. All right. Here we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 8, 9, 40. Give yourself 10, 15 seconds just to change exercises. All right, let's go. Duck feet, guys, duck feet. One, two, show you guys from the side, keeping my back straight. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that was set number two. Take a break. I'm gonna do two more. You're gonna get into the Uchikomis. Now, the Uchikomis we're gonna do, we're gonna do Ashibarai, so that's a sweep with a little step back. Then from there, we're gonna do, with a little step, we're gonna do Ouchi, right? 25 on each side. Same for, uh, for the other one there, uh, the, the Ashibarai. And then from there, we're just gonna do the, take a little step and do the Uchimara, all right? So, because the thing with Judo is that you attack in movement, right? You never really attack, you never attack static. I mean, it's very rare that you'll be able to, to get it, to pull it off, you know? Like the Japanese are actually very good at pulling that off. Like they're just static and then they move, boom. But usually it's in the movement while you're moving the dude then you throw your technique and that's when you get it, right? If you set it up properly and uh, we're able to, to get your entry in. And yeah, man, there's a million things, million techniques, but uh, that's the gist of it, right? So practicing it static is one thing, but once you get the hang of the movement, you wanna incorporate some, uh, I mean the technique. Once you get used to the technique, you wanna start incorporating some movement into it, right? So you wanna take a little step forward, backwards, to the side, and um, yeah, that's how, that's how it has to be done. So even the, the Uchimara, right? Actually, sorry, we're gonna do the classic entry. Uchikomi, right? Classic uh, uh, front entry, but we're gonna do it with a little step to the side. All right, you guys will see. That's why it's a follow along video. And uh, when everything opens up again, I'll, I'll find some guys to, uh, to, to, you know, to film and, and do some, some little uh, instructionals here and there. And even though, you know, like I said from before, brown belt, I don't feel 100% qualified, but I mean, why not, right? Have some fun with it. You don't have to be a champion of the world just to, uh, you know, to, to show a technique and stuff like that for it to be beneficial. Okay, let's go. Number three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19 and 20. Breathe a bit. So that's the thing guys, when you work out, honestly, depending on what you're doing, 30, 45 minutes, you're done, man. Even if you're lifting heavy weights and all that, an hour is a very long time to be working out hard, right? So, and it's not about how hard you train one day that's gonna make a difference, right? It's, it's, it's about frequency, consistency, and all that. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. You guys aren't going to believe this. I ran out of space, so it's cut at 28. All right, so keep going. 29, 30, 31, 
32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Okay, now on to the next one. Right, if you guys need 10 seconds, 15 seconds, get that done. If not, pause it and start as soon as you're ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. The camera's crooked, sorry about that, guys. Gonna get much better with time. Okay, take a little break. That was uh, set number three, so fourth set. So I'm gonna start not too long because I was on break until I realized, well, actually I was talking. So I already got like a minute or two break, right? Because I didn't realize the camera stopped filming because it ran out of space. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Actually, give me, give me five seconds. Okay, let's go. Four, pause it and then go come with uh, play it back on when you're ready. If you need to, of course. Uh, here you go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. A little break. I'm just catching my breath too. I mean, guys, so I'm, I'm 5'8", right now, 152 pounds. I'm not that, uh, not that big, not that tall, not that heavy. So, yeah, those things. Even at 20 pounds, man, when you're doing compound exercise like that, it takes a lot out of you, you know? But, you know, you get used to it. I'm putting my hands here because then it helps the blood. I don't know if I already mentioned it in the last, uh, a break but helps for the blood to go back to your heart faster so you actually recover faster right easier said than done when you're grasping for air but it's worth doing okay the rows one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 42, 3, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. <sighs> okay, if you can, right away, if your weights are light, you can do this back to back without no break, if you're able to, right? But for me, the weights are a little bit heavy, that's why I take a breather. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good. That was the last one. Uchikomi time. Now, give it a second. So if you're not already practicing judo, then why not start? Of course, your movements won't be perfect, but it's okay. Practice the movement. Pay attention to the details. And I'll make some other videos where on the days that I'm, I'm resting because I'm a little bit tired, right? Because of the muscles are sore or it's just the nervous system, right? Because the thing is the muscles, after a little bit of time when you get used to exercising again, right? They recover pretty fast. It's your nervous system you have to worry about. So what happens is that you, your, musca, your muscles might be uh, back at 100% ready to go, but your nervous system isn't. So that's why, you know, sometimes in between, it's better to, like, you have to know yourself and make the adjustments, but you have to do some active recovery. So you just do light cardio that day, you know, you stretch a bit, or you work on your muscles, but you use really light weight and you do, like, a lot of repetitions. I mean, that's a great form of cardio too, but you have to do all the muscles. And, like, light weight and a lot of reps, like 100, 100 reps per set kind of thing, you know? Or, you know, a little bit less, whatever. At least 50. Okay, first one. I want you guys to, I'm getting hot. Yeah, I know, I always do that. Take off my shirt, but hey. At the same time, builds a little bit of credibility, right? 41. Being able to maintain low body fat percentage, even though I'm up probably one or two percent now, so I'm not happy about that, but I'm gonna drop back down. So, and of course, it depends on the lighting too. The light is a little bit more from above coming out, so I look more ripped than I actually am. But I do, I gain a bit of weight, and for me, it shows right here. So, all that to say that even if you're uh, 41 or older, it's not impossible, man. You can get down there. You don't have to get down to 10 percent, you know, but at 15, you're gonna look good, you'll feel good. Okay, so watch this. Take a step back and sweep. Take a step back, sweep. Come front, step back, sweep. Okay, 50 times the total. One, two, you get my elbow. Three, four, five. It's like you're throwing dice. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, you can do it with a jump too, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, Seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, forty-one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, forty-nine, and fifty. Voila! Next one. I want you guys to take a step forward, right? Take a step forward here. Actually, front, front diagonal, not front here. A little bit diagonal, and then Ouchi. One, two, three. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Look at my head. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 22, 23, 24, 25. There you go, other side. This side for me is gonna suck, mainly because I have ankle mobility issues on my right ankle. But I'm gonna do it anyway, and I'm working on this. I'll show you guys, one of the subscribers asked how to fix it, or at least how to get it better, so to speak. I'll show you guys in another video. Okay. Step here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. The reason why my ankle is messed up is because when you fall in judo, what happens is that Here's a trick for you. When you fall, when you're being thrown, your ankles tend to, sometimes they hit the ground hard, okay? So when you, let's say this was my foot and it's coming down, you wanna keep your foot flexed. So not extended, sorry, not extended like this, but you wanna keep it like this. So that way, when your heel hits the ground, bam, it's nice and tight, right? Whereas if you leave it like this and it's loose, it shocks it and then it messes with the joint and then you, you have uh, ankle issues and stuff like that and of course you don't realize it until it's too late you're just limping on it oh it's gonna go away and next thing you know no more mobility like you do that long enough that's uh that's that's judo for you man so a tip for you guys if you guys don't already have ankle issues if you do some of you do probably okay i'm gonna show you guys what i do for my foot that i'm working on but it does work, it's all about consistency though. And that's where I'm lacking when it comes to uh, some of the mobility work, so. But now, no excuses guys. Like, no excuses in general, even if there's not, we're not in quarantine, but, you know, because we're in quarantine, it's even uh, more, how do you say it, relevant, kinda, you know, like, if you have excuses now, it's, you know, you have time. Oh, most people do. Okay, so, uh, the other one now. Classic entry, right? So usually a classic entry is you take a step here in front with the foot basically like this and then you step here and with this one you're drinking water, this one you're looking at your watch but what we're going to do is we're going to stand here, we're going to step to the side and we're going to get the entry there, alright? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 2, 23, 24, 25, better side, so take a step, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5. There you go, guys. That's what you call me tomorrow. Most likely active recovery. And then from there, when I do active recovery, it's gonna be a shit ton of Ushikomi. Not just 25 on each side, 100 on each side, 100. Every single day we're gonna do Ushikomis, whether we're doing uh, active recovery or we're working out. If we're working out, we do the weights, the resistance training, right? And then we're gonna do Ushikomi at the end. Keep it nice and, and uh, fresh and, and sharp, you know? And remember guys, for those of you guys who who, uh, uh, who are maybe a little bit more beginner or who haven't done judo before, do it slow. And the days I do on, I focus on technique and, and positioning. Of course, I haven't made a video yet explaining that, but I will. The days that I do active recovery and I talk about, uh, I do just uchikomi, I'm gonna break it down really uh, as, as wah, the, way, the way I learn it, the way I understand it, right? And then from there, you guys just do that and do it slowly. You don't, you do it. Speed comes when you do the technique properly, right? When you, when you execute the technique properly and you, you refine every single little detail, right? Because practice makes permanent, guys. And, also, and you don't want to perfect a bad uh, entry technique, Uchikomi, right? So it's important not to practice things wrong, right? So better to do it slowly, really get, you know? get the hang of it and understand it properly and then after that you can go fast because speed will come afterwards it's going to come naturally okay with perfection of technique and of course some 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 conditioning okay so now what's left i'm gonna do my arms i use these 30 pounds here so just keep them like this one Ooh. three There, tricep extension. So, bend over like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. All right, take a little break, drink some water. Of course, if you guys are, aren't interested in doing your arms, then you can skip this part, <laughs> right? But. Hey, so if you guys have any comments regarding what you want to see, what you want to explain, or even suggestions on, you know, what I should do in terms of a workout, I'm just showing you guys what I do, right? So you guys see it, do this every single day. Every day you got to do something it's just to get into habit. And that's how you get in shape, really. Like, it has to be a habit. And after that, exercising is one thing. Diet is another thing, too. So I'll make more, I haven't gotten into it, but I'll film myself like cooking and eating and even grocery shopping. I might do that after I might go uh, get some beans and stuff and uh, you know, take you guys along, film a little bit vlog style, right? So it's important. So like I said, I cut down all my nutrition on how many meals I eat. I mean, the reason why I gain weight pretty simple because I eat more and I move less right so you know I was eating what four times a day so now it's like dude twice a day that's enough for me you know and I might even uh, cut down the portions just a little bit but uh, no not too drastically like it took me about a month to gain this weight so you know I'm not in a rush a month 
you get it back more or less, right? So depending on how long it took you to you know, put on the weight, it'll take you approximately the same time, more or less, you know, depending on how, how, um, how your body adapts and how consistent you are. But, uh, you know, you can't lose weight too fast because then you'll lose muscle, man. Losing muscle, you don't want that. That's what screws people up. It slows down their metabolism. Which, by the way, I got to make a video early on answering one of the, one of the subscribers, uh, one of the guys in the community, one of his questions, right? So check that out. It's going to be interesting because this, uh, this, uh, this person, this subscriber, like, um, he's doing Ramadan soon. So I think it's in, uh, it's, it's in less than a week. So that's going to be uh, quite a challenge to be able to, to do things. But I got some ideas. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there. So hopefully it's gonna help the kid, right? And um, yeah, all right, get back into it. I do three sets, all right? So, uh, I just hold it in front like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think I might have did 11 there. Who cares? All right, tricep extension, kick backs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, one more. We'll call it a day. I'm gonna go eat after this, and then walk my walk my dog. So I hope you guys are staying safe during this whole quarantine thing here. Stay in shape. It's a process, man. You know, getting in shape. Once you're in shape though, I'm telling you, it's easier to stay in shape. Kind of like the rich get richer, right? And the poor get poorer. So that's the thing. It's an uphill battle at the beginning, right? But it's doable. I mean, I'm 41 and right now, right? This is the, the angle and the lighting. It makes me look a light, slightly slimmer than I actually am. And of course I'm pumped right now. So the muscles are so, but I did gain weight, but I'm probably about, I would say 10% now, 10, maybe 11, I don't know. More 10, honestly. Because if you could see the abs clearly, then you're at 10%, right? Under any lighting. So all that to say that I'm 41, and I wasn't born like this in the sense that uh, uh, I could gain weight very easily. I don't have like a, a super high metabolism or or none of that, uh, none of that shit, you know? I'm actually, I'm between me mesomorph and endomorph. Like on my mom's side, they're more, actually no, sorry, sorry, my mistake, you know? Um, my dad is actually more of an ectomorph, whereas my mom is endomorph, but I take, I take a lot more from my mom though, you know? So all that to say that you're, you're never just one thing, you're on a scale, you know, a percentage of this, like there's three types, and you're always on a scale of, uh, you know, you're more this, and you're a little bit uh, less, of, you're a little bit more of, more, you have one dominant one, more or less, right? And then you have another one, and then you have the, the, the other one where you're the least, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you have the least of, so to speak. So all that to say that, like it does take work for me guys, like uh, to, to maintain, right? I had to learn how to eat, I had to learn how to exercise, I had to learn how to um, uh, portion control 
and then make adjustments, you know, count calories. I actually tell you the truth, guys, I don't count calories, but uh, if you want faster results, I know how to count them, but if you want faster results, you actually do have to count your calories, you know, because after that, or else you're just guess, you're doing guesswork and it takes longer that way, right? So all of my clients that I train get into tracking, uh, calorie tracking pretty fast at the beginning, right off, you know? Um, oh, and okay, before I keep talking forever, let's just finish this off. You guys can always fast forward the blah, blah, blah if, you're, if you wanna get through the workout fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Backs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Your arm. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys. So I see you. That's a workout. Probably a bit longer than you. Then maybe you guys would have liked, but you could skip the arm part and you could skip the me talking. So thank you very much. Hope that helped. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay, like, comment, subscribe below, notification bell. See you guys in the next one. Peace.